my name is Chaplain Steve Hokan. I'm the Assistant Director of Ministry to the Armed Forces of the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod. And I'm glad that you selected this video for your Bible study or even personal devotion. Anger is an important topic. Uh, scripture covers anger. Scripture talks about anger. And there's no more of an important time in our lives to discuss anger. There's anger everywhere. It just seems like it's appropriate now to, to be angry and yell and holler at people. Uh, you might even be angry yourself angry with God, angry with the church, angry with family. And so anger is here and anger is a part of who we are. Scripture talks about anger. I don't know if you're aware of this, but in Psalm chapter 4, it says, in your anger don't sin. Well, that passage is so important that the Apostle Paul even talks about that in the book of Ephesians. So anger is an important topic, and anger is something that we can indeed talk about. I grew up as a kid, and I used to go to this farm where my family had a farm in North Dakota. And I had an uncle, big, big North Dakota farmer, and he used to tell me, he said, Steve, you know, people are a lot like steel. Once they lose their temper, they're absolutely worthless. So there's things that we can do with anger, things that we should understand and know about anger. And so the purpose of my study, your study that you're going to go through, your devotion or your study, is to explore anger. And to see what does God have to say about it, not just in Scripture, but Scripture in my life. Now, you can also take this study and explore it much further, because I have a study, and it's going to be based on Psalm 4 and Mark chapter 3. But you can dig deeper. And so I've got some, some exegetical study, what they call biblical study material, on the root word of anger, both in Greek and also Hebrew. I've also included some things on what Martin Luther has to say about anger. And you may find that quite fascinating. And then I've also included some latest things on the behavioral health community and clinical care ideas, thoughts, and concerns about anger and how important it is that we work with and we deal with our anger. So I don't want you to be shy about anger. I don't want you to repress it or say we don't need to think about it or Christians aren't supposed to be angry. You can be angry. But the most important thing is you dive into this study and you do it prayerfully. It's to remember that God is with you in your journey. That as God was with you at your holy baptism, he was with you through every chapter and phase of your life and loves you very deeply. And so because of God's great love for us and his redemption of Christ on the cross, we can look at anger and we can explore it. And at the end of the day, we may actually become better for it. So God bless you as you study and work on the topic of anger. Mm -hmm.